Yo, for this some reason today, um, the bloody uh, uh, YouTube live wasn't working, so I got to film it. So basically, what I'm saying is, Sabine Lasicki, she's had a terrible like five, six years. She's had injury. She's had all sorts going on. Matthew enjoy 80% off variable. Um, she's had a terrible six years, but now she seems to be getting back on track. I remember seeing her at Wimbledon shouting at her dad and she just had an absolute Lionel Blair. She had an absolute Tony Blair. She was all over the place, shouting, crying, getting upset. I mean, she's always been an emotional player, but you know, that I thought was you know, the breakdown of this girl. But anyway, I saw a, um, I saw a, uh, remember, I've seen Sabine Lissiki since she was 12, 13 years old. When she was at, where's this geezer going? I knew it. Look. Um, since she was 12, 13, however old it was. And uh, she was at, um, Nick Bolotari's Academy, IMG. <coughs> and you know, she was there and she was always a powerhouse. But I never felt they did the right S and C with her. The, the, for, when, listen, just to put it in terms of my new book that's coming out, so make sure you buy it. Yeah. Um, when you're a power player, think of it as like a Lamborghini. You have to have uprated suspension. You have to have uprated, up, updated, uprated brake discs. You have to have uh, thicker fuel lines. Yet yeah, everything has to be a bit better, a bit stronger, a bit faster. Because if you've got the kind of horsepower that Sabine Lasicki had, if you don't do all the other things, that body's gonna break down. It might not break down straight away, and it didn't break down in the start of a career, but it will break down at some point. And unfortunately, it did break down, and it's broke down for the last six years. And this is what I mean when I say um, the tennis, the sports science approach. If you don't do the sports science approach, you're gonna pay the price. And I see it all the time. Like, when I saw, for example, Eva Shaw, yeah, my own daughter, but I, I offered to coach Eva Shaw because I knew that she was going to break down with injury. I knew she was. The reason being because you, they, they weren't doing the right things because she was winning, yeah. If, if you're winning, winning hides so many things. So, at the end of the day, what she needed to be doing is S and C from an early age, 11, 12, 13, because she's got a bigger chassis and loads of power. It's it's, it's like taking your Lamborghini uh, to Quick Fit. Yes, Quick Fit know how to change oil. Yes, Quick Fit know how to do certain things, but Quick Fit don't know everything. They don't know the intricacies of the Lamborghini. They don't know um, the specifics. They don't know the details. And as a result, yeah, they 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 just did the basics and, and she broke down, the body broke down. And that can be said for a few girls at the National Academy. And another one's Jasmine Conway. Like, how is Jasmine Conway going to be able to win matches at the level that she's playing at, at the level she's targeting at? Remember, Jasmine's 18. How is she going to now win matches? Right? The girl can hit the lever off the ball. Well, they're not made out of lever ball. The girl can hit, hit the fluff off the ball. She's a power hitter. So what does she need? I don't know enough about her in terms of the intricacies of what she needs. But I know that she needs something because the potential is there. The potential for her to achieve is there. How will she convert that potential 
into actual. Now, it might be she might need some expertise from somewhere else, but like Sabine Lissiki, who I saw at the age of 14, yeah, 13, 14, however old she was, I don't know, when I, when I, when I went and saw her, yeah. The, the, the point is, is that you've got to be able to maintain strength in the muscle long enough to win the point. That is two things, it's mental and physical. Yeah, mental and physical. The physical part is probably the easiest to be honest. Because, I mean, I watched some tennis the other day. I watched Jasmine the other day. Um, I didn't see it to the end, so I don't know whether she won or lost. But um, uh, I watched her at Wimbledon and she, her, her, uh, her strokes, if she hasn't won in the three or four strokes, it's then a lottery. Now, I get it, first strike tennis, sounds great, looks great, yeah, but if it isn't, you need a plan B, you need a plan B, you need to be able to hit the ball deep, keep it deep, keep your, keep your opponent under pressure, yeah, move the ball and mix it up, Ash Barty, all day long, Ash Barty, if Ash Barty hadn't retired, she'd be on a 4 4 fifth Grand Slam by now. I, I'd, that you know, it, you know. Obviously, it made her happy to not no longer be playing tennis. But that's where she was in terms of tennis. She could have dominated for the next five, six, seven years. Maybe not as long as Serena and Venus, but definitely for a, a large period of time. Because it would have took people so long for them to catch up. Now, here's the problem we've got, or you've got, is that. You've got girls, British girls, with fantastic potential, like Jasmine Conway, like Eva Shaw from three years ago, like Matilda from four years ago. I ain't seen Matilda in ages, don't know what she's doing. Yeah, you've got girls with potential. How can you now transfer that potential to actual results, to achievement, that's the question. That's why my book that's going to be out before Roland Garros, Tennis, How to Become a Tennis Pro, The Sports Science Way. The sport. Ah, yeah, mind so. Oh, yeah, Tracy doesn't come in on a Friday. Your mind so fun. Anyway, listen, guys, where's she going? Yeah, so anyway, listen, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's get, let's get this sorted. My book's gonna be out before Roland Garros. So I ain't got long, I ain't got long to get on it. Yeah. I ain't got long to really make sure that that this is um, that this is done. So watch this space. I'm going to be posting more stuff, posting more pictures. So make sure you like and subscribe, guys. And we'll try and get some kind of um, understanding of bloody YouTube life. Cheers, guys. Bye.